to read some poetry. I'm working on my dementia story for a dementia professor, Auntie Rosalie. Uh, however, my approach to dementia and life is rather complicated and hard for other people to follow. And uh, since I've had my stories, I've written a few poems. Strangely, I haven't made much of it. But in review, I thought, oh, look, this is actually a good deep dive into it. And um, one of the things, I've got a complication in communication of five years, and I do think more deeply. So it's hard, even if I was a great communicator, a great writer, to actually explain exactly what I'm doing. However, uh, I'm uh, going to read the poems because I found that uh, using artificial intelligence to read, which I'm a bit more comfortable doing, doesn't give a, clo a, a good enough read of it. Okay, so this is the first poem, and I'll tend not to give titles to my poems. So uh, this is an early poem after my stroke. Uh, oh, my sweet penguin, go out to sea. In our burrow I will lay two eggs for thee, safe and warm in our CSRO box, safe from the snout of the feral fox. Predators are many will surely be about. Swim fast and sure with your body so stout. So fragile yet agile. Fill your tummy with fish. All closer to me, that's my true wish. As the sky grows crimson, the water's grey. Find one last fish and penguin raft at the close of day. Breach the waves, the edge of the sea. Bring my penguin love back to me. From the gloom of our burrow I sense and I peek, and dangers and any harm fear my pointy beak. Scaly slither, feathery flap, pad of paws, we penguins know fear at the door. Stand proud, my penguin love, stand tall, shake off the ocean, listen for my call. Watch out for that wave from the sea, flop on your, uh, on your belly. Can't and come closer to me. Not the best poetry reader, but I'm possibly better than artificial intelligence. So look, there is a, a story to the different poems I've written. Uh, and this is a poem, not by me, but it's by a, uh, a, a sort of a local poet identity who just penned this off in, uh, in a way. And this is after just a few 30 seconds of seeing him. He has more skills than he knows. What he sees in others, he has already grown. If he could allow his wisdom to shine, he would then know others see him divine. His heart is open and caring and sweet, and whatever he does is super neat. This is another poem. Uh, now I've sort of... Oh, I've moved Broken Hill and I've had this experience and I just woke up and wrote this poem. I fell in love with a fry pan on Friday last. It was no ordinary fry pan. It was special. You are surely sceptical. I fell in love with that too. Being sceptical is safe. A bubble around one's brain. This pan she uh, brought the owner joy she knew the knowledge the love sparkled for it was cold pressed no rivets and look there on the handle that's cut intricacy a sign of super present a miniature australia clear through and look further those who would be superficial they would surely miss it a miniature miniature tasmania not forgotten feel the weight it's not heavy no, it's light soaring to heaven and ample sausage space. Uh, united in joy, we three, the owner, the pan and me, a bad moment felt to let pass. The picnic ceremony, sausage offering sacrifice. Anyone for tea? Oh no, I've fallen in love with the kettle. Now, I just wanted to get just there, give us the general gist of general sort of stroke or euphoria I have of falling in love with things, sort of feeling everything's great. So I'll put that right there. 
again, not have produced this clutch of poems. I am the lighthouse on the rocks of despair. My light sweeps the cosmos out where you should go. Indeed, inside my door, sealed to the wind, is a hearth, warm broth, and dancing shadows of the day. But do not sail towards me, labouring waters cloak rocks below. Set sail for the shores of hell, since the cosmos sense your vessel already a wreck. That means a lot to me, the way it's written, but I know it doesn't mean it. Hold my hand, my love. Great distances are not far. In your brain I dance, in reality I slumber. For the minutia of days pile up even higher, and I forget, I forget you. Worm, wriggle in your dark cosmos. Above you is light. Above you is the watchful wren. Better to rule a kingdom of ignorance. Mighty is he who knows not his limitations. And the X-Men let fly the final blow. The tree of knowledge shook. Years of silent growth and now a cry of gravity. O oh, mighty man of action, your magnificent pride growing with each swing. Proof of your power is the doing. Destiny too complex to comprehend. Now stroke the homely fires of ignorance. So again, just sort of a deep, deep, deep sort of thought, sort of thing. Now this is a little bit more complicated, uh, and you have to work out um, the scenario and work this out. Why, sir, indeed, you do not dine alone tonight. And how is Madame Loneliness? Okay, so a lot of people just wouldn't understand that, but it's... When served steamed veggies, use pepper and salt. When drowning in arrogance, surf waves of incompetence. When overcome with joy, don't forget to dance. Uh, these rules for you may forget. For the child is wonder. For you regret. Maybe a line missing there. Okay. Now this... Poem is actually a form of a dialogue. So there's two characters here. I'll try and uh, get the two voices. There are two people here. The Cosmic Penguin, which is myself, my inner idea, and a Grubby, uh, is it? Grubby Monkey. This is someone who is superficial in the moment and uh, shapes the situation to advance life. They're not contemplated that they're agitators. Contemplators and agitators in life. Okay, read this. Cosmic Penguin, why do you waddle so? Cosmic Penguin, where do you waddle? Cosmic Penguin, why does your beak glow? Cosmic Penguin, why do you have springs on your web feet? Cosmic Penguin, does anyone love you? Cosmic Penguin, why don't you speak? Oh, growing monkey, I was listening, thinking deeply. You have the gift to fill any silence. No crack of consciousness left unfilled. Consensus is a vengeful master. I better go, waddle away, lest you start to think you have the talent of feeling like others do. Cosmic Penguin, you speak in wriggles. Cosmic Penguin, it says here you must answer. Cosmic Penguin, if you don't, why, I can make things up. Cosmic Penguin, if you... If I can't understand, I may I make up mean stuff. Cosmic Penguin, you, you see, then it's your fault. Cosmic Penguin, everything's your fault. All that is bad. <sighs> oh, grubby monkey. On the subject of wobble, it seems I am a penguin, stout, very short legs, and a high centre of gravity. Changing my penguinness is not an option. Standing still and not waddling gets rather boring. I could tell you about the sea and the waves, but you monkeys are probably right. No one has ever gone to places that don't exist. Oh, grubby monkey, 
On the subject of where I waddle, I waddled in the desert for days, away from the houses, the shopping centres, the gossip. Big billboards, thinking guides, lonely souls being guided. On desert roads, you are less likely to be run over by someone backing out their ignorance. Oh, grubby monkey, on the subject of my glowing bed, I needed to read books lost high up on shelves. That's where the forgotten knowledge is. Of course, someone understands it, but that someone hasn't been seen for years. Oh, I dabble in group theory and lie algebra. And of course, you're right. Not much point in things no one understands. Oh, grubby monkey, on the subject of these springs of my webbed feet, I might be cosmic, but I am feral. Before me, the ecosystem was doing all right. I might be introduced, but I still have to watch out for predators and hunters. For more information, let me read your Grubby Monkey t-shirt, O oh Grubby Monkey. Keep the penguin talking and report to Ranger. And this button here, when I press it like so, wee. Okay, so the concept there is, uh, and I have actually called um, a, um, a poem where uh, the hero prematurely ejects from the poem. So this is sort of fairly conceptual. It's, it's not it's sort of trying to get there, probably not good enough. The, the idea is that um, you there's this clash between the contemplator and the agitator, and the contemplator realises that uh, the interaction of agitation interaction is not really fruitful, and they have to go. And so that's actually built into the poem. Um, okay. Now, and I think the final poem here, or not the final, the second final poem, I'm so dreadfully sorry. I just didn't get it. I'm the wrong coloured paint. I'll just peel myself off, get back in the can, and roll myself back to the paint shop. Okay, peel back in the can, roll back to the sh uh, shop, and disperse my ingredients. I'm so dreadfully sorry. I didn't, just didn't get it. I'm the fish that John James rejected. I'll just get out of the tuna mornay, get back in the can, and roll myself back to the tuna can shop. Okay, off the plate, back in the can, roll back to the shop, and pop back into the ocean. I am so dreadfully sorry. I just didn't get it. I'm the wrong sort of dad. I'll get out of the family, move to the outback, and live quietly in the community. Okay, out of the family, move to the outback, Live quietly and cease to be. Okay, again, that for me is, you know, working with, with that concept, expanding it a little bit and then uh, replicating it into different different ideas to, to move right, to wrong colour paint to the wrong type of person and to move it across there and the... Uh, People not only rejecting you, but they want to cancel you, get get rid of you completely, and you can do anything, anything but uh, comply. Now this uh, is a deep poem, and I'll have to, when I write up about it, I'll um, include it here. Uh, so it's a one-line poem. When shot, white kangaroo and I hop into the sun. So that one again, uh, because there's a story of, again, spirituality and uh, people framing ideas and moving to a place where they can't form a sight picture of you. So I'll say that again. When shot, white kangaroo and I hop into the sun. Now, I've actually seen the sort of spiritual white kangaroo at war. So I'm very curious to see how people 
interpret this white kangaroo and how they interpret me and how they form sight pictures and how you can hop together uh, where you can't form a sight picture. Okay, finally, peace. Thanks for listening and we'll see how this goes.